Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to show you that the Green's theorem, or the fundamental theorem for divergence, actually works on a simple example. We were given a vector function or vector field defined right here, and we can see that if we take the divergence of that vector field and then integrate that over a volume, that will equal to the vector field product the multiplication of the vector field via the dot product with the area or an area element and then taking the surface integral over that given volume. So we have to have an enclosed surface. On this video here, part one, we're going to show you how to calculate the left side and on the next video we're going to show you how to calculate the right side and those two of course better be equal to one another. So quickly what we did here is we took the divergence of the vector field and we took the Divergence right here, notice that on the first term, since there's no x in there, you get 0. On the second term, we get 2x. On the third term, we get 2y. So we place that in here as the divergence of the vector field times the volume element, dx, dy, dz, because we have to integrate over all three dimensions. So let's integrate the x component first. So this cannot be written as the integral over dz times the integral over dy times the integral of 2x plus 2y times dx. So if we do that, we get the following, we get, and of course the limits of integration over dx will be from 0 to 1. So this will be the integral over dz times the integral over dy times, and when we integrate this against the x variable, we get 2x squared over 2 plus here we get 2yx. And then we go from 0 to 1. So when we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. When we plug in the upper limit, we get the following. We get the integral of dz times the integral of dy times, plug in the upper limit, we get 2 divided by 2, which is 1, plus here we get uh, 2y. So we get the quantity 1 plus 2y, which we're now going to integrate over the y variable from 0 to 1. So this is going to be equal to the integral over dz times, when we integrate this relative to the variable y, we get y plus 2y squared over 2. And again, evaluated from 0 to 1. When you plug in the upper limit, you get 1 plus 1. So we get this is equal to the integral of dz times 2, because when we plug in the lower, lower limit, you get nothing. So this is equal to the integral, 2 times the integral of dz from 0 to 1. That you can integrate easily, so this becomes equal to 2 times z, evaluated from 0 to 1, which is equal to 2 times 1, which is 2. So here you can see that if we work out the left side of that equation of Green's theorem, the value for this particular vector field if we take that, we take the divergence of that, and then we integrate that over the volume of the cube, we get a value equal to 2. Now, that means that if we now calculate the vector field multiplied times the area element, and then we integrate over the entire surface of this cube, notice there's six surfaces, we should get the exact same value if, of course, Green's theorem works out the way it does. So let's try that on the next video to see if we do that, we get the value of 2.